Okay, this is going to be a short demonstration video of my Morley harpsichord. This is a two manual from 1969. Serial number is 1800. It's a two by eight, one by four. So we're gonna bring the camera in closer and show you some of the features. Here's a look at the keyboard. Uh, reversed keyboard, of course. Always tough for piano players to come and play this at my house, but <laughs> there it is. Range is G to G. And we'll sit down and play it here in a minute. Here's the music desk. Okay, the instrument was missing the music desk when I got it, so I built this one. This is walnut. And it matches the walnut on the instrument, of course. This is your English style, so there's nothing painted on this case. This is all burled walnut, veneers, and you can see they still look in pretty good shape. The lid prop was also missing, so I made this one. This is also walnut. Here you can see the soundboard and strings. Okay, there are two ranks of eight foot strings and one of four foot. Here you can see the bridges. This is your eight foot bridge. Your four foot hitch pins are here. And the four foot bridge. Soundboard's in good shape. Still has the uh, John Morley little tiny decal there. And underneath these, these are the jack covers, two of them, because there are four sets of jacks, and these jack covers are mahogany. Let me set the camera down and we'll get another close up of the jacks. Okay, here I've removed the music desk and the jack covers so that we can see first the tuning pins. and behind them the jacks. Now there are four sets of jacks on this instrument. This closest set is the lute stop and you notice that it plucks very close to the front termination. That gives it the lute sound, a more nasal sound, impersonating that of a lute. And back here we have three racks. There's a four foot, which is the middle one. The middle is the four foot. Then we have a back eight foot and a front eight foot. All the jacks are here and all the plexure work. Of course, the uh, guide rails for the stops, the registers are these brass inserts here, guides for the jacks. Now let's pull out a jack, what do you say? Let's just pick one at random. We'll pull out two. So you can see the dog leg. Jack, very nice. It has a weight at the bottom. And you adjust the length of the jack here, which affects your voicing, of course, when it plucks. And you can see the little tiny plectra and the damper. Adjustment screw on top. Now let me see if I can get one of the dog leg jacks out. You can see the dog leg on that. That can be played by either uh, keyboard. And when you couple the keyboards together, um, then it plays both eight foots at the same time. And the four foot. All this is controlled by the sliding the lower keyboard in and out and by pressing the pedals, which I'll demonstrate next. Okay, now we're gonna demonstrate the three ranks of strings and all the keys. Of course, we have a back eight foot, a front eight foot, and a four foot. Now the back eight foot and the front eight foot can both be played from the lower keyboard. The upper keyboard only plays the front eight foot and the lute stop. 
but with the lower keyboard slid in, see it slides out and in to couple the keyboards together. But with it slid in and no pedals, you get only the back eight foot set of strings. <laughs> front eight foot set is played on the upper keyboard. It seems a little backwards, but that's the way it works. So this is the front eight foot just by itself. to play the forefoot by itself just for demonstration purposes I don't think that's a very useful combination but the forefoot only keyboard lower keyboard slid in left and middle pedals down together and we should get only the forefoot see if we can demonstrate some other things. The softest combination is with the mute. Here's the mute. So if you go to the right, then you're muting the front eight foot. If you mute to the left, then you're muting the back eight foot. So if we pull this to the right, we play the front. <laughs> stop of course is played only from the upper keyboard to do that you push the right pedal down that uncouples the front eight foot jacks and couples the loot jacks which are here under this front cover and they pluck very close to the front termination
that front eight foot doesn't have any dampers on it so it's depending on the mute plus the dampers that are on the front eight foot jack which are also going up and down but not plucking the strings now to get the uh full harpsichord i guess is what you would call it we turn the mute off so the mute's in the center so it's not muting right or left or front or back i should say and we uh, slide the lower keyboard out and press the middle pedal. Now we should be playing all three ranks of strings. So I think that demonstrates that all three ranks of strings are fully strung. <laughs> no strings missing, no jacks missing, no plectra not working. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of odd combinations that you can do with the lower keyboard by sliding it in and out and pressing the various pedals, which, uh, you know, may or may not be very useful. Not something that you want to do while playing. You want to set everything up the way you want it. Slide things in and out, press the pedals you want, and then distribute your hands and play. Softer, louder. Okay.